our math project has a touch to do with art. I think you'll find it really fun. But before we move on to that, I need to make sure that you all understand uh, some of the basic things about how our library is organized. So who can tell me, way back in the 1900s, what was the huge problem that libraries were having? Christine? Um, it was unorganized and they couldn't find books easily. That's right. Every library decided how they wanted to organize their books. So no two were the same. And people were very frustrated because sometimes even the librarian couldn't tell you where a book was because if a helper came in, they might put it in a different spot than where the librarian usually put it. So we had all these fabulous libraries that Benjamin Franklin had started, but they were very unorganized. So who stepped in to help solve that problem? Isn't Brianna? His last name is Dewey. Yes, his last name is Dewey. Anybody remember his first name? It's a little different. Autumn? Melville? Yes, exactly right. Melville Dewey. And what did he decide to do? What did he decide his solution would be? Uh, Evan? He had it, um, That's okay. Can you help him? Um, he created the Dewey Decimal System. That's right. He created a system. He called it the Dewey Decimal System. Okay, so we know system means the method of organizing, and we know that Dewey is his name. What is the decimal piece? What is his system based on? Do you remember, Bella? Sophie, sorry, sorry, sorry. Do you remember? Um, organization, trying to organize all the books into categories. Uh huh. And once they're in categories, then how do we know which one goes where? They put, uh, they put numbers. Yes, numbers are the decimal piece. He decided that for the nonfiction part of the library, it would be best to organize it by category and that each category would have its own special number, so that no matter what library you went in, no matter who was putting the books away, you could always find certain subjects in certain places. Now, the Dewey Decimal System only works for nonfiction. okay? Fictional books are arranged by author's last name. That's why we have the letters over here and over there. But the Dewey is gonna take care 